Hello and welcome. Today we're going to continue We're working with different file formats. We've looked at converting different types of spreadsheets to CSV files and we've looked at converting CSV files into JSON files. Now we're going to be looking at uh, parsing through. That means going through and pulling stuff out of the JSON files. So if I list out here, we've got a couple of spreadsheet files. We've got a CSV file and a JSON file. And again, uh, CSV files and JSON files are both plain text, plain ASCII uh, characters. That means you can just you can read them. As a person, I can I can say cat people. Uh, yeah, spell people right. People dot CSV, and I can see I can read those names. I can read those addresses, and there'll be a link to this uh, file in the description of the video. By the way, the CSV file anyway, uh, or I guess I'll put the JSON file since that's what we're working with anyway. Uh, and the JSON file. Uh, is similar. You can read it. It's formatted a little bit different. Uh, it actually makes it a larger file because you have more text, but it makes it easier to pull out the information you want. Um, and right here, it's an array of people. Uh, there's about almost 900, 800 some people in here. We got birth dates, addresses. This is a, a file uh, I've created, a list of people I created uh, based on real people from voter registration, but I shuffled up all the names, addresses, and changed the numbers. So uh, basically, it's similar to real information, but it's not real people information. So you can use it for your projects for testing. Anyway, again, I can go through here and find what I'm looking for. You know, you could go old school route. Like if I want to, I could say grep uh, Jones, and we'll make that a capital J uh, from our people.json file. You know, and I found Jones, and I can say, okay, uh, dash, let's see, Jones' last name is there. So I can say dash A. 3-B, um, I'll say 5, I'm just eyeballing this. So I'm saying, find everyone, any line that says Jones, show me the three lines before and the three lines after. Uh, and so there we go, we can kind of kind of see uh, these people. So now I'm just looking at everyone named Jones. So that, that, that's, you know, you could do something like that, uh, but that's that's not what we're looking to do. We want, we want to be a little more specific. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to use the jq command. And if I use my package manager, I say aptitude uh, search jq, and I'll say less on that so I can see the list. It's going to bring up every file that has the word jq in it. But you'll see there is a program called jq. You see this, I have it installed. And it is a lightweight and flexible command line JSON processor. Q to get out of that. Uh, so now what I can do is I can just cat out json my uh, people.json and i can put that pipe that into jq and it's going to be just like catting it out only it it uh colorizes for me and if my file wasn't formatted so nicely i'm pretty sure jq would have formatted like if everything was on one line and there wasn't indentation uh jq i think would have done that but right here all it's done for us since my file is already formatted properly it's giving us basically our fields uh our field names highlighted in blue in this case uh but let's say i wanted to um grab just the first entry in here. What I can do is I can say, since this is an array, as you can see, I have is the brackets here. So everything, every entry in here is, is in an array. I can say, I want uh, zero would be the first array. No, that's not, that's not right. Uh, oh, sorry, dot bracket zero. There we go, that's the first entry. I can go to the third entry by doing two. I can go five all the way through. Uh, but what I could also do is if I leave it like that, it's going to show all the entries. But then I can say dot. I want just the last name of everybody. L name. So now it's listing all the last names. Or I can do the F name for the first names. Or zip for a zip code. But if I wanted the fifth entry, actually that would be the sixth entry since we start with zero. Uh, I want the fifth entries zip. I can do that and it just gives me the fifth entry zip. Or I can say the... 333rd, which is really the 334th entry, I can get their zip code, which is the same as theirs. Let's do something other than zip. Let's do L name. So there, there's their L name, and I'll change that to two, and that's their last name. Now, we're, we're piping this in directly from a file on directory, but we can also use wget or curl to pull something from uh, the internet. So I'm just going to real quick do, um, go up through here, because I already have this in here. Here we go. So here's a link to just an example from some web page, an example uh, JSON file. Um, so I'm using wget. I'm using dash q for quiet so it doesn't give me a you know percentage bar of what's downloading and doing. Uh, capital O is output and the dash just means standard output. 
I'll go ahead and hit enter and there's that file and again I can pipe that into JQ and it's just going to format it if it's not formatted and colorize things for me let's go ahead and do less so I can look at this file and uh, maybe less was not a good option I'll just JQ and then I'll scroll up uh, so here you can see uh, the f the main entry here is called quiz and under that we have maths so if I want to go and I want to look at uh, the sports I can tell sports or I can say maths but let's just go here and I'll pipe that in JQ and send in the quotation here I'm gonna say um, quiz so now it's gonna show me just the quiz and then I can say dot maths there's no brackets here because so far we haven't hit an array uh, so there's the maths. So there's two questions in the math quiz. Uh, so now I can say oh, I want to look at question one. So dot question one, and that's going to show us just question one. And here I can get the question by saying dot question question. And if I wanted to see the options, I can say options, and it's going to show me the options, which is an array. As you can see, the brackets there. So what I can do here is I can say uh, options, and I can say two, uh, which should give us twelve. Yep, and if I said zero, that would give us the 10. So now I'm going through that. But if I didn't want options, let's say I just want the answer. I can get the answer, is it answer? Yeah, answer, and the answer is 12. So that is just a quick look at using uh, JQ. And here I'm piping directly from uh, a JSON from a website into JQ. And this is a lot of times you'll use JSON you know, on websites. So if a website has an API uh, where you have a URL where you can grab information, uh, you can directly use curl or wget to pipe directly into JQ and pull the information out. And you don't have to use awk and set and grep and all these different tools to try to try to grab what you need. You could do it that way if you don't have JQ on a very lightweight system. You could definitely do that. It's one of the benefits of having uh, plain text files. But JQ is designed for parsing. You don't have to worry about, you know, some formatting that uh, might throw you off. And it's very easy, especially when you get into things with arrays. We're looking at very small files here, but if you had a large file, that would definitely be a way to, to quickly do it. So go ahead, check out your repositories. If not, uh, search uh, GitHub. JQ is on GitHub. And I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There is a link in the description of the video to my website, as well as my Patreon page. And also you can support me in the support section, there's a link on my website to my Patreon and to PayPal. I thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.